going? What's up and what's happening there, blessed beautiful souls? Welcome to the Crypto Crypto Show. Thank you for being here with me on the channel. I really do appreciate every single one of you beautiful souls. And in today's video, we are going to have a deep dive into exactly what ARK is buying and what is going on there with ARK at the moment because ARK is doing some awesome things. And generally when ARK do some awesome things, they are foreseeing some sort of bullish action or price movement in the exact positioning that they are positioning per, uh, investment that they are positioning themselves in so let's not waste any time in this video make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because i'm going to smash all the content you're going to want to watch every single last moment of this video guys it's going to be very powerful for you so let us get cracking on here in the meantime please let's get having fun okay so Today, guys, the current uh, situation in the market cap is 1.267 trillion, um, and Bitcoin is currently sitting at 607 billion dollars today. Woohoo! Up at 31,300. That's a thousand dollars. Well, actually, it's about 600 dollars more than I said to you this morning. So, guys, are people sneakily buying Bitcoin while you are sleeping, holding your in your pants? instead of making sure that you are investing right with this beautiful energy here so guys let's not waste any time let's delve right into this beautiful energy so first of all let's go on go into the bitcoin chart i want to go and show you first of all happy full moon in capricorn i would love to go and show you my indicator right now on the um monthly cycle of the moon phases now each chart shows us the, i mean each month has a full moon and a um and a uh, a new moon so as you can see generally the full moons are the grays and generally at full moons we should be coming down you can see that that's pretty common here on full moon and then new moon we have mostly pumps okay so it's very interesting to see how this works but it's very much more clearly on the weekly so if you want to go and use that click on indicators and hit your moon phases go check that that out there guys right now i'm not really wanting to show you that what I really want to show you is the absolutely beautiful crossover on the EMA ribbon here on the weekly time frame right now, as well as uh, working coordinates with the RSI, because on the weekly, we've got a very massive crossover outside of this beautiful pattern, as well as a bounce off of the 200. That's massive, guys. That is huge already, telling us that the bullish signals are here. The bullish signals are coming. Doesn't mean we can't pull back. Doesn't mean it's not going to come down. But we are looking bullish. And my next bullish target, as you guys know, is all the way up here at 37,500. How interestingly so does that align up here with all of this beautiful energy over there and over there? Okay, guys. So that's very, very powerful for us right now. Okay. Now, next. Okay. ARK doubles down on their investment. Kathy Woods ARK buys 21.6 million coinbase shares as the sec suit sends stock tumbling well let us go and quickly have a listen to what these guys have to say here um, about this so uh arc invest kathy woods she was in kathy woods yeah. yeah well decided to go buy some coin uh coinbase she certainly did shares a, lot a huge it. block. Um, it looks like, you know, Kathy Wood is still the Bitcoin bull, right? So Coinbase is a way, uh, in her mind, to do this whole thing properly. Now, Coinbase, they're in the U.S. They aren't in Seychelles. They aren't in some offshore jurisdiction. And, you know, with this massive buy, it's a, a signal that despite the Wells notice and despite the SEC interest, uh, it's still, you know, going to be a good stock. Now, she has bought, you know, a lot in the last few days. Um she sold a bunch earlier last week before this Wells notice came through, but she rebought that position at a lower amount. And even during the dark, the darkest days of crypto winter post FTX, you know, she bought more and more and more. It's kind of weird that she sold some, considering she's such a bull. At weird timing that she sold it right before the Wells notice thing came out, and then changed her mind. That's kind oh, well. of uh, weird. Let's 
let, let's not uh, accuse someone of stuff we don't know that she's oh, done. I'm but... accusing. I just, I just, I, it's just like, it's just strange that someone changed her mind so quick on a dime. Got one second selling it, no, another second buying it. I well, mean, she, like. She's basically rebuying her position at a lower price. Yeah. Well, well she has. Like, like she changed if you look her at opinion. If you look at the last few months, right, she has more or less bought the uh, the dip in the winter, and she bought, 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 and eventually you have to sell something. And so I think it was more yes. just a coincidence that she had, or they were selling yeah. off, you know, their holdings from the last few months into, uh, you know, a market that was receptive to crypto once in a while. Like Coinbase has outperformed Bitcoin year to date. So yeah. there still is enthusiasm in the market that this right right here is the way to do crypto and the way to do exchanges. So thanks to Sam Reynolds here for being a lot more reasonable in his outlook for what Kathy Wood is doing. And of course, she's a smart investor. So you're going to want to buy your position lower, of course, so that you can lower the entry level of your price, therefore make your investors more money, more profit. That's obvious. So he's very right in what he's saying, and it is, it's not a bad thing for Kathy Woods to sell any of her stuff. Now, speaking of that, okay, Kathy Wood Arc buys 21.6 million shares in Coinbase, okay? Amidst the SEC, amidst the, uh, the Wells Notice, all of this stuff. She also went to go and buy a 19.9 million a week later, a couple days later, uh, shares of Block Shares or Block Inc. Okay, that's amazing, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, and basically, what she's saying is that with Binance under increasing regulatory scrutiny for more criminal activities, fraud being one of them, therefore we have the competition for Coinbase disappearing. So that's a good thing for longer term Coinbase. So that's what she believes. And she's saying that because Coinbase are trying to work with regulatory um, findings, which is also the same for Binance, anyways. Now, here, she comes to say, because of regulatory uncertainty, innovation seems to be leaving the U.S. for more friendly regimes. Unfortunate, I believe it will become an election year issue. So as you can see, this chart is basically saying here that decentralized exchanges to uh, centralized exchange spot trade volume is increasing drastically. OK, now that means people are moving their money onto decentralized exchanges rather than centralized exchanges because of all the shit that is going on in crypto and with the SEC. Now, not only did she go and invest 21.6 million in Coinbase, another 19.9 million in uh, Block Inc., she also is investing for the first time since 21 in Meta. Now, I wonder why she would be investing in Meta. Well, let me give you an idea. Meta is working towards Web3 as well as working towards partnering with companies like Apple and Samsung, etc., that carry out cell phones to in order to enable people to use their cell phones in conjunction with the Google goggles to make all of this stuff in Web3 come a reality. So why do you think she would be investing in Meta now? Of course, that is the very strong reason. Guys, if you're enjoying the content in the video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share my content on the channel. That would be gratefully appreciated. Now, what I wanted to go and show you is that Kathy Wood is pretty much an ARK. The ET These are the ARK ETF trades, okay? You can see there's a whole bunch of trades that she's buying and selling and all kinds of things down here. You can come and have a look at all of them whenever you want. The dates that she's buying and how many she's whatever. Okay, she's now bought one of the highest positions you can see on this chart. Guess what she bought? Um, well, she bought 830k shares of Robin Hood. Okay, doesn't that tell us that she is heavily investing into the crypto space right now? which is telling us that she is seeing a massive crypto bull run is about to start coming very, very soon. And this was around the same time as what she did by Block Inc. shares and the Coinbase shares as well. Now, very, very interesting stuff. I'd love to go and uh, show you this little part too um, from uh, Janine from Coindesk. Have a, have a listen to this, guys micro strategy announcements. Right now, Bitcoin is trading around $30,000. This comes as Kathy Wood's ARK Invest has amended its filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF to include a surveillance sharing agreement similar to that of BlackRock.
all of them are doing fidelity all of them are going to realign so that they can all come together to have the correct documentation applied power and especially because um kathy rock uh, uh, kathy wood um and arc and blackrock are all buying coinbase shares and hoping that coinbase is the one that's going to get this right so do you think kathy smart kathy wood is smart fuck yes guys if you aren't investing in Bitcoin today using my link down below, then I don't know what it is that you're doing and busy sitting holding your nuts or something. I don't know, guys, but seriously, Bitcoin is looking more juicy than ever. And that is exactly why I would like to say to you from the insane drawdown on this chart all the way from down here that I really spoke about, you know, honestly, the next move in Bitcoin is going to make this look like a little blip like this way back down here okay in the bigger perspective of things one day but for now if we have to have a look at that all the way down there from that blip to this high here was a twenty-seven thousand percent move now guys i've previously spoken to you guys on some of my other videos about bitcoin getting between about 245 and 265k dollars on the next bull cycle do you guys think it could hit that well that would give us a target of way kind of up here do you guys think that Bitcoin, if Bitcoin has done um, in the last eight, eight years, if you think Bitcoin, since 2013, so call it 10 years, has done 27,000%, do you think it couldn't hit a measly 780%? Guys, you got to be thinking very sharp about what position you're taking in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is solid sound money. It is the new way of this earth. And if you have not yet invested into it, I don't know what you're doing, guys. Seriously, if you do not own even just some Satoshis and a part of Bitcoin, okay, even $10, $100, $1,000, however much you can afford to put into it, okay, 784% at $220,000, that is a, that's a big price for Bitcoin. If you're buying one Bitcoin today, it's $31,000, and you take... And you minus that from two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you left with two hundred twenty thousand dollars profit. Guys, it's nonsensical for you not to invest in Bitcoin. Okay, no financial advice, of course. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to set the thumbs up and remember to watch this video because this video is even better than this one. Thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next one.